Hi guys, today we are editing infrared photos in Adobe Photoshop CS6. So I have a Canon 30D that I had converted for infrared photography. What that basically means is that I sent my camera out for a sensor swap. Um, there's this company that I deal with that will take your existing sensor out of the camera and substitute in a infrared sensitive filter. For those of you that are interested, the company is named Life Pixel Infrared. They're on, if you search Google for that, they will be you will find them quite easily. I will also place the link in the show notes. So, here we go with today's lesson. So for starters, infrared photography places makes visible the infra the radiation that exists in the sunlight and is visible in trees and what you get is an image that looks like this and when you're done editing these images you will get something that looks like this There we go. This is what an edited infrared image looks like. You'll see that we got the correct tonality in the sky, in the water, pretty much in the metal and the concrete, but we've get this brilliant white in what would be our greens of the leaves in these trees. And how we achieve that is simply by doing a color swap but before that um, I edited this image in Adobe Camera Raw and what that did for me is basically you can't do much with Adobe Camera Raw when it comes to infrared images because AC Adobe Camera Raw just doesn't know what it's looking at so you convert it to JPEG and then you in Photoshop you can adjust your black levels. You can of course do that in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm just for the purpose of this demonstration. If you are a JPEG shooter and you do it this way, it's the same thing. So I've taken our levels adjustment layer, clicked the black eyedropper, and clicked an area of my image that is black. That being the shadow under the railing. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna shift click both of my layers and I'm gonna merge them using command E so what we have now is a correctly balanced photo so now what I'm gonna do is go to image and adjustments and down to channel mixer what channel mixer does is it allows you to swap colors around within the individual channels hence the term channel mixer so in our red channel we're gonna type 0 and in our blue channel we're gonna type 100 and then you'll see this little drop book drop down drop down box for output channel you're gonna switch that to blue and we're gonna enter 100 into red and 0 into the blue channel and what you get is a correctly balanced edited infrared photo in Adobe Photoshop CS6 now if you're like me and you shoot a lot of infrared photos then you may want to record an action for this I've it's as simple as simple as opening up your actions you could also go if you don't have that in your toolbar you can go to window uh, actions option F9 and that will also open the same window and then if you didn't have the new the action recorded for yourself you would hit after you adjust everything you would hit record and then perform your channel channel mixer operation and then hit it'll this little button here would give you a stop option and you would be able to save it 
in your actions as an as a channel swap. I named mine channel swap for obvious reasons. So that concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you very much for watching. And again, be sure to look for that Life Pixel Infrared link in the show notes. Thank you for watching. Bye.